My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, here we are in White Run. Something about a witch and a lonely shopkeeper. Let's see how this is going to play out. Looks like it's back here. Oh, lava. Interesting. What time is it? All right, I suppose we'll wait. Or not, let me go on inside. What? Isn't this Olava's house? Who are you? Are you the shopkeeper? You must be the people I prayed for. <laughs> yeah. What did you need? I'm not sure I can do this. I'm, I'm beginning to have second thoughts. Calm down. You need our help. We're here to help. There is... There is a witch in Whiterun. This sounds crazy. She put a curse on my family. Over the past year, all the members of my family have ended up dead. Hmm. My brother, my uncle, my wife... And my son. How do you know that she has been cursing your family? I just do. The other night, as I was visiting my son, I saw her doing something to his spirit. That's why you prayed. We can help you. On occasion, she visits a tomb around here. I know she keeps her research notes somewhere in there. But I can't get past the undead that she has summoned. However, during the day she wanders around town, pretending to be an affluent citizen. At night, she enters the Hall of the Dead in town. Find those notes, and find out how to let my family rest peacefully. I'm not sure what she's doing to their souls, but I know they can't move on. Find her notes, kill her, and free your family. Easy enough. If it were easy, I would not have contacted you people. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... <sighs> it's okay. I'm just frustrated. I have one more request, if that's okay. Name it. After you've killed her and freed my family, would you kill me as well? I'm so lonely. I can't go on. We will help you. Thank you. I know that she wanders white run during the day, pretending to be a charitable woman. I would go to the tomb at that time. She always shows up at the Hall of the Dead after two in the morning. Get her then. Hmm. Interesting. All right. We have our work caught out for us. Let's go. Alright, I think it's too late. Or was it after two? I'm not sure. Let's head over to the Hall of the Dead and see what's going on.
for the evening, Anders. on guard. Maybe too late. Wait. There's someone here. Let me look at my notes again. What are we doing? <laughs> All right, we spoke to Coil, and he explained that there's a witch hiding in plain sight, performing dark rituals by night. We must enter the Hall of the Dead catacombs under Whiterun before 2 a.m. and kill this witch when she arrives. Okay. So, it's too late. Let's go. Let's go to Dustman's Cairn. It's something there about some notes. Some familiar stomping grounds when I... If you told younger me that one day I'd be skulking around in some old tomb, I'd have looked at you like you were Dagon stomping around Imperial City. Hmm. This is one of my earlier missions when I first came here to Skyrim and became a companion. The notes right here in plain sight. All right. Hopefully these aren't too long. Okay, good. Fourth of last seed for E200. I've been researching the fable of Azura Star, a soul gem that can be used more than once. It is possible to use a soul gem more than once, then surely it is possible to store multiple souls in one gem. I am going to attempt to create one. Seventeenth of last seed for E201. I have successfully created the gem and I have fastened it into a necklace. Having multiple souls at my command will make me more powerful than anyone has ever dreamed of. Twentieth of last seed for E201. I need to construct an additional gem, as my assistant accidentally shattered my first one. <laughs> ah, you have to love those assistants. The careless fool won't even make a worthy undead puppet. So I separated his body from his head. I noted a few curiosities about the shattering of the gem, however. I assumed that the shattering of the gem would have displaced the souls into the soul can. However, this does not appear to be the case. The souls appear to have gone to Aetherius, possibly even Sovngarde. I have no idea why this would be. Further research is needed. 25th of last seed for E201. After experimenting with ways to make the gem more stable, 
I've discovered that I have a deadly allergy to those weapons the Draugr use. Luckily, I was able to cleanse myself of the infection in time, making note of this experience here to remind myself to stay away from them in the future. All right. I suppose we can head back to Whiterun. There's nothing further. Is the witch's notes casually strewn on the table as we enter the room? <laughs> Let's go. If only all dungeons were this simple. soul gem of hers sounds like it could be useful to someone like myself. Alright, so I think we're just going to have to wait until 2 a.m. Uh, would you mind dousing that magic? You look tired, friend. The Bannered Mirror has beds for rest. Alright, let's check this again. We must enter the hall of the dead before 2 a.m. and kill the witch when she arrives. <laughs> it's a long time till 2 a.m. Who is this? I wonder if that's her. <laughs> you know two can play at this game, woman. I can cloud your mind. Huh, I think this is her. All right. Let's go. No, I was just... just thinking about you. Funny how that works. Yes, isn't it? Let's just go hang out in the tomb of the dead. You should probably get some rest. Anders. My associate would like to lie down in your bedroom, if that's all right. It's this way, Amatius. Vala. All right. You go ahead and get comfortable there. I'll sit here and meditate for a while. Good, you've awakened. All right, it's 2.01. Are we too late? I'm just going to kill this woman. All right, I'm up. seriously, you've got to get out of my way. I can't believe this. Are we going to fail this mission? Because of your unresponsiveness. Well. <sighs> So it's that way. All right, if 
anyone's down here, I'm killing them. What? Alright, that was unexpected. There's still someone else here. starting to get bored. Hmm. We I thought maybe there was another door. Where is Anders? Oh, there he is. Oh, I was just thinking about you. Funny how that works. Where is this witch? It's probably too late now. <laughs> we might have to wait another night. So we get the Draugr, but not the Witch. What do you need, my friend? I need the Witch. Anders, you haven't seen a Witch, have you? <laughs> Oh, this is frustrating. All right, uh, I guess we'll just sit and wait again. Before 2 a.m. You're here. I was just starting to get bored. Where is she? I mean, is she just going to walk through the door at two and then we kill her? Or will she just not show up at all? She had to be responsible for those Draugr. Oh, look, it's after two. Oh, hi, listener. You're mocking me now. We failed this mission, Vala, and I think it's all your fault. It's because you blocked me initially from getting out of the bedroom. Oh, hi, listener. Oh, be quiet. There she is. There. 
finally. Hmm, 250 gold, not bad. Let's go. Probably should have killed her the first time I saw her. Doesn't seem like it really mattered. Alright, so this man, shopkeeper, is living here at Alava's house. She is dead. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. What about my family? They are at peace. You guys have fulfilled your end of the bargain. Over my life, I was actually rather successful with my shopkeeping. Here was a payment of 40,000 septums. What about my other request? You will have peace, wow. child. Wow, that's a lot of money. Oh. All right, you've done your job. A hundred more gold. Poor guy. Hopefully, he's at peace now. I bid you rise. <laughs> yes, there you are. How does it feel to be undead? Hmm. I can't control you, though. All right, well, you will live out your life for eternity. <laughs> That was such a, a waste of a good life. It's too bad that I couldn't have him join us. He would probably make an interesting addition to the Dark Brotherhood. At least that was my hope. Purchase upgrades. So there are more upgrades to be purchased? Interesting. I mean, he gave us so much money. Concerned about what's going on in the streets.
should be interesting. We purchased all of the upgrades already. What more could he have? Dalvin. Always a pleasure, boss. What could I do for you? Ah, it's not for Dawnstar. I need you to refit the Markarth and Winterhold sanctuaries. Of course you do. <laughs> this was quite expensive. All right, thank you. Vala, it's time for us to commune with the Night Mother. Night Mother, we are here to the commune. The child of Lachance is progressing nicely. Soon she will be ready to accomplish contracts on her own. But first you must test her resolve in recruiting brothers and sisters. We need to add two more recruits to this sanctuary. Then we can begin to fill our other sanctuaries. Add another child to our family and come back here. All right, very well, Night Mother. All right, it's time to speak with Vala again about our next mission. 